Good afternoon, butterflies. This is the Awakened Butterfly, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please stay for the entire video. If you enjoy the content, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Welcome and welcome back, everyone. I pray that you all are having a blessed and amazing afternoon. I pray that everyone is continuing to take care of themselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. I really appreciate you guys so much for all the support that you show me on this channel. And without further ado, guys, let's get into this video. This video is actually a message. And as you can tell by the title of the video, Chosen Ones, these people will regret not listening to you. You tried to warn them and now God is about to humble them. This message is for my chosen ones. This is for you stepping into your chosen mission, which has caused a lot of you to be placed in some dark situations pertaining to some of the people that you have dealt with. And many of you have been placed in situations where God has sent you to help many people, whether you served as a healer, a nurturer, a prophet, you know, whatever your spiritual gift holds. And during these times when God placed you to shine your light in these dark places, the people you were sent to help did not appreciate you. They disregarded you. A lot of them even called you crazy. When the Most High gave me this message, he led me to Proverbs chapter 26, verses 3, two, three through 5. And it reads, a whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the fool's back. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. And what this means is no matter how intelligent a person may be, if they receive, if they refuse to receive the instructions and wise counsels of the Most High, they are being foolish. If they refuse to accept the revelations of God, they are being foolish. Many of you chosen ones are serving your ordained mission and you have been sent to help someone. At this moment, many of you are in this situation. You are trying to assist them in every way possible. You're doing all you can. You're bending over backwards for this person. The Most High has even given you messages and instructions for this person to follow. Things that he really needs for this person to do in order to better themselves. And he's using you to shed light on these situations. And this person is giving you a hard time. They're disrespecting you. They're discrediting you. Not only are they discrediting you as a person, they're discrediting your spiritual gifts and your calling from God, your chosen position. These people are arguing back and forth with you. They're trying to control you. They're trying to silence you. And a lot of times, they even ignore you. They may even get with other people and call you crazy and say that there's something wrong with you. Many of these people, you are in relationships with, guys. Many of these people, you are very close to. They could be your family member or friends, whatever. But a lot of these people have even verbally and physically abuse you these people have been abusive towards you because a lot of the times you've relayed messages to them and they're looking at, at you like who are you to tell me this and you're not being disrespectful towards them you're just relaying the message that the most high gave you to deliver but the most high says touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm and at this time, chosen ones, God wants you to remain humble and not to argue back and forth with these people. 
They have been advised to adhere to specific warnings and instructions, but they ignored them. Just know that God will handle them due to their obedience. Sometimes when people are so arrogant, they don't take the time to think about the things that's going on around them. God wants you to stand your ground against anyone who is trying to block or silence you from your chosen purpose. Whether you have a YouTube channel and you're speaking truth, whether the Most High has sent you to deliver a message to someone, and this is for my chosen vessels out there, the Most High, you know, has called you to be a chosen vessel. Many of you are prophets. And many people are trying to silence you at this time. The Most High is going to have to show them through experiences that his revelations are real. That he really does have ordained, uh, you know, he really does have ordained prophetesses and prophets out here. Is the most high is going to make a believer out of a lot of these arrogant people. The most high doesn't want you to engage in confrontations with these people of arrogance and self centeredness who only value their own thoughts and opinions. Once you plant the seed, that's it. There's nothing else that you can do at this time to help these people. The Most High wants you to step out of the way. He will handle the rest in accordance to their actions. And this is not to say that You're better than anyone or you're trying to make it seem that you're holier than thou. No, you're just doing your job. You're doing what you're chosen to do. And a lot of these people, they look at you like you're the arrogant one when really it's them that's being arrogant and self-centered. And they claim to know everything, but they lack spiritual wisdom. They may have wisdom in every other area of their life, but they lack spiritual wisdom because they don't believe that you can hear the Most High's voice. They don't believe that those messages that you're relaying to them are actually coming from Him. They lack spiritual discernment. And they don't wish to gain it because due to their arrogance, it's allowing them to value their thoughts and opinions over the most high's instructions and revelations. The most high wants you to know that you've done all that you could do. You've done all that he called for you to do when dealing with these people. He will handle them in accordingly. Um, I don't know who this message is for, but if you feel that this message resonates with you, pray to the Most High for further confirmation. I love you guys so much. I just wanted to come and drop this quick message. Until the next video, peace and blessings. Mwah.